Hi, welcome everybody. This is Shelter in Superheroes. Uh, Zoom has some new security features, so we've been having a little bit of a hard time getting people in the room this morning, but we feel very safe, don't we? Um, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, thank you if you were here last week. Last week, we talked about our feelings, and we talked about getting to know ourselves and our own feelings. And we used this chart to help us identify our feelings. And this blue one up here, this is like low energy, kind of sad, kind of tired, right, Vita? Yeah. Uh, this red one is like kind of angry and like high energy, right? Kind yeah. of, what else? Kind of like, Kind of mean, like hitting people, yeah. stuff like that. Kind of out of control, yeah. yeah. This yellow one is like a little bit of high energy and, um, you know, kind of maybe scared or, or, or surprised or a little anxious. Uh, and then this green one, this is like calm, happy, ready to learn. Yeah, right? like just, just in the middle and just, just what and doing what you're supposed to do and stuff like that. Just like in the in the green zone is like being in being in the happy zone or like being being calm, like stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, and last week we talked all about how to identify that feeling in ourselves, right? And this week <clears throat> we are gonna move on and we're gonna talk about how to identify that feeling in other people. Yeah. How can we see what other people are feeling? And there's even a word for it. What's the word for it? Empathy. Ooh, that's a good word. Can everyone say that? Everyone who's watching at home right now, I want you guys to say this word out loud, okay? We're gonna say the word empathy. Ready? One, two, three. Em empathy. 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 Now, what is empathy? We can think of empathy in, in three ways. And Teacher Jackie, I think you have a nice little visual to go along with this. Empathy is being able to see with the eyes of another person, to hear with the ears of another person, and, and to feel the heart of others. Yeah, feeling with the heart of another person, right? So we're trying to get into how another person sees, how they hear, how they feel. And it's hard. It's hard to do sometimes. Sometimes you're, you're so wrapped up in your own feelings. Maybe you notice, Vito, what color am I wearing today? Red. Yeah, I'm wearing red. I have a question, I have to admit. Um, was I a little angry? And uh, was I kind of short with you earlier today? Yeah. He was kind of angry because he couldn't get people in the call and then kept on kind of like going like this. <laughs> and also this morning, my brother was like messing all around and my dad was getting so mad and like out of control. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, you know, sheltering in place is hard. And I, I really tried to control my anger, but I had a hard time doing it this morning. Um, how are you feeling today, Vita? I'm feeling green, blue, yellow, and red. Yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling red because my brother kind of is making me really mad these days. And feeling yellow because I'm like feeling a little silly or funny or, or wiggly. Yeah. And I'm wearing green because I'm also kind of calm and i'm wearing blue it's because sad that i don't get to see my friends wow you got so many feelings and you know sometimes people just come out and tell you their feelings right and maybe they can wear a color that goes with their feelings but other times you know you have to be able to to try to see with their eyes or hear with their ears or feel with their heart and i have an example of this uh, earlier this week, Vita told me, she said, I don't feel like you're paying enough attention to me, Dad. And my first reaction to that, I thought about myself, right? 
I thought about myself and I said, well, that's not fair. I feel like I'm spending a lot of time uh, paying attention to you, a lot more time than I usually am, right? Like, usually you're not at home with me all day, but now you are. And so I, I get to spend this extra time with you. I get to pay this extra attention to you. But then I started to try to see it with your eyes. And I think what's going on is that even though I'm spending more time paying attention to you, I'm also spending a lot more time not paying attention to you. Like there's a lot more time every day when I can't pay attention to you. Like earlier today when you were asking for help with the apple, right? I couldn't pay attention to you. And usually when you're home, that's all we're doing is we're hanging out with each other. But now when you're home, I have a job to do all day. And so they're spending a lot of time not paying attention to you, even though I also spend more time paying attention to you. So once I saw it through your eyes, it made me understand a little bit better how you were feeling. And once I said that, I kind of saw it through your heart, how you were like, but I am, I am paying attention to you. But I just, and I was like, and I was like, maybe, maybe I should make it so he just does his work. Yeah, so you've given me a little more space. That's really nice, Vita. Cool. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about empathy today. We got a great show for you tonight. I just, I've never said that before. I really wanted to say that. You said uh, night. Nice. Uh, that's what they say on one of my favorite shows, Saturday Night Live. But this is Thursday Morning Live, otherwise known as Shelter in Superheroes. And the first person we have today is Teacher Jackie. Teacher Jackie, what are you showing us? Oh, 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 one more thing. I've got a ball. Oh, and another thing. Stuffies. If you guys have your stuffies at home, we're going to do something with stuffies later today, okay? So if you can, guys can like run and get your stuffy I real quick. Oh, you have the ball? Okay. So get your stuffies. And we have an imaginary ball that we're going to be throwing back and forth between people today. And the first one is Teacher Jackie. You ready to throw it to her? And go! Oh, got it! Thank you so much. I'm just going to sit this right over here for now. Talking about feelings, Vita, it's like you read my mind. Red, yellow, blue, green. I'm all over the place, all the colors. I don't know how I feel. I talk to my friends to understand my feelings, and I haven't talked to them as much lately. So today we're going to sing a song and do a dance to help us talk to our friends and get all these rainbow feelings into just one color so we can be more in control of our feelings too. So, let's start this with a little warm up. Can everybody stand up? Make a little space for yourself like I have. So we're not knocking things over. Yeah, everybody at home. Go ahead, stand up friends. We're gonna sing and dance together. Oh yes, thank you friends, I see you standing. So let's start with, I. Uh, I'm going to share the video because you're not going to hear the sound because I have headphones on. So let's do that. We're going to uh, play for you, actually. Here we go. I'm going to turn my headphones off so you can hear. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Bounce with me. Everybody get a bounce. Yeah, now we're gonna try just saying hello. 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 Raise your hands. Yeah, wave. Now everybody, do a circle. That was fun. Let's try it again. One more circle. Yeah, now the last part of our dance is super simple, but it's my favorite, buddy. Run plate. Run. Yes. Now we're ready. All right. So the words to this song go like this. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Spin. How are you today? Happy. Happy. 
Yeah. How are you today? Hi. Great. Great. Excellent. Now let's try a different thing. Fida, can you try asking me? Um, you're going to ask me, how are you? And I'm going to tell you in a word how I am and give you a dance move. So Fida, ask me. How are you today? How are you today? I'm focused. Can you try that, Vita? Focused. I'm focused. Yeah, now I'm going to ask you, Vita. How are you today? I'm calm. Oh, okay, so we got I'm focused. I'm calm. Love it. Now, Vida, can you ask Bella? Bella, ask her, how are you today? Listen to Say, how are you today? Bella. How are you, Bella? <laughs> Don't. Happy. Can, I do Happy. Emotion? can we do this? Happy. Happy. Sure. All right, let's sing it together, guys. Ready? Hello, hello. <laughs> on a color. Today, my color is green. I'm calm and focused and ready to learn. Thank you, friends. You help me understand my feelings better. And now I understand yours. So, teacher Seth, I'm going to throw the ball back to you. Are you ready? I think we're ready. <laughs> ah. Oh, we got it. All right. Thank you. Our ball is no longer imaginary. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much, Teacher Jackie. That was fun. And next, we've got Lucas, who looks like he's in a field playing some music. Lucas, can you catch a ball if you've got a guitar in your hand? Okay, let's throw it. Throw it, Vita. <laughs> Whoa. Got it. It turned into a juggling thing. <laughs> club. Juggling club. Hi. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Teacher Lucas, and my precarious situation is I had to go to the middle of nowhere to get better service out here. So all of my tools in my superhero toolbox got a little bit swooshed around, but I'm fine. I'm great. You know why? Because I still have music with me. And so we've been talking about empathy and how do you know what the other person's feeling? Because sometimes they don't come out and just say it. And some people don't even have a lot of people to talk to right now. So it might be weird to feel their emotions because they don't know how they're feeling. They have nobody to bounce it off of. I have been putting my feelings out through music. So if I've been feeling very, very happy and, and, uh, and energetic, I've been singing, Oh boy, we're in quarantine today. Da -ba -da -ba 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 yeah. But I've had periods of sadness too, and I felt a little bit more just quiet and reflective. And and sometimes I've felt very, very uh, well sheltered in my place. Really, I just wanted to jam on my guitar. And just... I want to make a lot of noise, but I'm really just trying to come back to my own relaxed, calm place. And a lot of the ways I'm feeling have been coming out in my music. So I hope you have ways to deal with your feelings. I hope you have productive ways of feeling however you're feeling. And remember, any way you feel, it's okay. All right, I love you guys. I'm gonna throw the ball back to you, okay? Okay, okay? We'll get it. All right. Here you oh. go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got it. We got the ball. Thank you so much, Teacher Lucas. Any way you feel, it's okay. Yeah, that's right. It is okay. So we've got 
We've got empathy as our like super glue power. And we talked about our dance power and we talked about our music power. And right now we're gonna go and do some puppetry power. We've got teacher Chris who's ready to tell us about some puppets. I've unmuted you, Chris. Here's the ball, ready? <laughs> Guess what? My ball is an Easter egg. Because I'm so sad. I was looking forward to Easter. We always have a big Easter egg hunt. And now, I'm not supposed to go even six feet close to my friends. Mm. But I'm a superhero, just like you, and I made myself a superhero costume. <laughs> See my cape and my hat? I'm a superhero American. <laughs> But now I'm trying to practice my empathy. So the zones are red, yellow, green, and blue. And today I feel a little blue. And um, yesterday I had some empathy. My dad got so mad and I felt my stomach go <laughs> And I felt my head go, bah, 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 bah. and I thought, oh my goodness, this is empathy I'm feeling. <sighs> Fur, go away, Fur. Uh oh. I see from Fur's eyes that he's feeling something. I hear with my ears that his voice is lower. I feel in my heart that Ferd is sad. Are you sad, Ferd? Oh, I think I hurt Ferd's feelings and now Ferd is blue. Oh, Ferd. Do you feel anything else? You do? Do you feel green? No. Hmm. Do you feel angry and red? No. How about yellow and excited? <laughs> oh, Ferd is yellow and excited. <laughs> Why are you excited, Fur? <laughs> oh, it's lunchtime and Fur is hungry. Fur is always hungry. <laughs> Come here, Fur. Oh. Hey, would you like to hear the song I made up in my hero shelter in place? Twinkle your hands if you'd like to hear it. Okay, it goes like this. <clears throat> I'm doing the best I can and so is everyone else. I'm doing the best I can and so is everyone else. I'm doing the best I can and so is everyone else. I'm doing the best I can and so is everyone else. <laughs> okay, Fern, would you like to throw the ball back? Get ready, teacher Seth. Oh, America! Oh, oh. All right. We got it. Thanks so much for throwing it. I love that song. I'm doing. And so is everybody else. I'm, I'm doing, doing the best, best I can. can. And so, so is everybody else. else. I love that. I know someone else who's doing the best they can. And that is the little doggy Wallace. I think Wallace is doing the best he can. Uh, let's toss the ball over to teacher Courtney. Ready? I got it. Thank you, Wallace. Did you see? We got it. Hi, everyone. Teacher Courtney and my superhero sidekick, Wallace, here to talk to you guys today. Uh, we are feeling a little bit in the green zone, actually, here. We are in South Florida, 
And as you can see, it's very green around. And so we're feeling pretty peaceful. Wallace likes the shade over here. Now, I just wanted to tell you guys a quick story and say thank you to all my superhero friends. And Wallace has walked around a little bit. Uh, because I was really worried about my buddy Wallace. He's my best friend. And he was acting really strange. He was barking a lot. And you can hear him. He was whining a lot. And most importantly, he wasn't eating his food. And it made me really worry. So I asked all my superhero friends what I could do. And you know what you guys told me? You told me I should think like Wallace. So I should see things through his eyes and hear through his ears and feel through his heart. And then I realized, I know that Wallace wants me calm and happy and healthy. And when I do that, and when I take care of myself, he feels happy too. So I have been very good about taking care of myself and then making sure Wallace is happy. And when I do that, I know that Wallace will be calm and content. So when you have a furry superhero friend at home, make sure you take care of them, but make sure you take care of yourself too. And we just wanted to say thank you and sending so much love to everyone's direction. Teacher Seth, this ball is for you. Here, Here you go. go. I, oh, and I got it. Thank you so much. I love feeling through the heart of my animals too. This is my pet. Nope, this is a stuffy. Uh, but this looks like my cat Snowflake a little bit. And I try to feel through her heart all the time. And also Creme Fresh. Yeah, we've got another kitty named Creme Fresh too. Um, and I wonder if you can feel through the heart of animals. I wonder about about plants. I wonder if you can feel through the heart of plants. What do you think, Teacher Travis? Oh, here's the ball. Yeah. Here it comes. Let's catch the ball. Boom. Got it. Hey, superheroes. Travis here. I'm with my son, Teddy, and my daughter. That's Ada right there. And we're sheltering in place here in Los Angeles. Remember, last, uh, last week, we talked about science and nature and noticing. If you notice things in a different way, sometimes you can feel better. And since it is springtime, it's raining here in Los Angeles, we thought it would be a good chance to come outside and feel a little empathy for all the living things that are starting to grow these days. So sometimes we wanna share the love for people, but plants and animals and insects, they need love too. So I'm here, we're gonna notice some things. Teddy, I need your help, come over here, bud. We got two plants, and these are my backyard plants. I got a plant right there, and I got a plant right here. So Teddy, what do you notice about these two plants? Can you tell me something you notice about this plant right here? Um, the leaves are smaller. Can you tell the camera? What do you, what, what do you notice? Um, the leaves are smaller. The leaves are pretty small on this plant. Hmm, this plant needs a little love, I think. There's a lot of really tiny ones that are growing. What about over here, Teddy? What do you notice about this plant? Are the leaves bigger or smaller? They're bigger, right? So these plants' leaves are a lot bigger. I wonder why. Maybe I need to give a little love to that other plant that has some small leaves. Now let's take a look. One more thing, Teddy. Some of these plants, look at this one. This one's got a, a yellow leaf. Let's take a look on the underneath it and get up really close, Teddy. What do you see right there? Um, some ants. You see some ants? Yeah, these are like little yellow dots. Do you know what, the, what these are? No. They're called aphids. Can you say aphids? Yeah. Aphids. So what do we think, guys? We need to show a little yeah. love. Those aphids, they need to eat too. It seems like they're eating our plants. But we also need to love our plants a little bit too. Yeah. So what can we do to the aphids, yeah. Teddy? What do you think? We can spray them off. We can split them off? No, spray them off. Spray them. Well, maybe we can spray them. But oh, if we, maybe we can kill them. We could kill them, but then the aphids would die. And if we're practicing empathy, we want to think about the plants, the people, and the insects. So maybe we could bring some ladybugs in. Do you think the ladybugs might like the aphids? Yeah. Yeah? Would that make everyone happy? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So guys, go ahead. Get outside. Think about all the living things that are around you. Notice them. Look at them in some new ways, and it might move your emotions over to the green zone. So thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, Travis, can we have our ball back? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's see. 
Okay, here it is. You guys ready? There it goes, Seth. Yeah. Ah! Oh, wow. We almost got it. Nice throw, Teacher Travis. Uh, that is such an interesting problem to think about the bugs that eat our plants and, and whether we can feel for them or feel for the plants. Or, oh, it's a complicated world. Uh, next, though, we have some tumbling. And maybe one way to deal with our feelings and to think about the feelings of other people. Let's throw the ball to Jim. You ready? Whoa! Did you get it? Did you get Oh, there it is. Very nice. Thanks, Vita, Seth. <clears throat> so today, we have some gymnastics today, but we're going to talk about if you have a friend that maybe feels a little bit blue. Maybe they're a little bit sad. What are you gonna do? How, how can you help them when you can't even get close to them? Well, one thing we can do is turn our emotions around on their heads. So if you have a friend that also has Zoom, maybe you can meet with them and challenge them to a headstand contest. But wait, you don't know how to do a headstand? Let me show you. Come on, Bella. First, you have to put your head on the ground, of course, and you have to put your hands in front. So to help us put our hands in the right place, we have these nice little happy dealies, green, because they're happy. And we're gonna make a triangle out of them. You could use a, a t-shirt, these are handkerchiefs, you could use a belt maybe, and you just put it on the ground and make a triangle. You can kind of see that in the screen. It's an isosceles triangle that has even edges on each side. We're gonna put our head in the middle, bonk, and our hands on the sides. So Bella, let me help you. You need to make a triangle too. All right, there you go. Hands on the edges, heads on the ground. Now we have a triangle. You're trying to lift one knee onto your elbow. Can you do it? Oh, good job, Bella. And now try to lift your other knee onto your elbow. Oh, great job. You're doing it. Now, for you big kids at home, you might be able to even lift up your knees like this. And if you're super big, you're super strong like this. And then if you keep on practicing and keep on practicing, you get to be in the handstand. <laughs> well, I want to do a handstand. You want to do a handstand too? Then you just have to keep on practicing. If you practice with your friends, maybe you'll cheer them up too. Awesome. Okay, we got a ball for you, Seth. You ready? I think we're ready for the ball. Thank you. Right, Bella, bring it over. Bring it over. Ah. Here you go. Oh, 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 all right, we got it. Thank you so much. I love the idea of just turning your feelings upside down sometimes. You know, you can, you can, you have that control. You know, you can control the way you feel about things. And sometimes when we understand how other people are feeling, that can help us feel differently, right? I love that. And now we're going to go to the very calm portion and for this portion of the show you guys are going to need your stuffy so if you have your stuffy then please go and get it and we've got teacher tutu right. oh throw the ball <laughs> all right whoa look who showed up for me well i think that'll help because i'm actually in a blue zone and I'm feeling a little sad because I can't see my grandkids now. And when we talked a little while ago, they were kind of sad too. And I was wondering what to do about it. And so my friend Kabir, we've been friends for a really long time. And Kabir reminded me of that very special secret garden that always lives inside. And Kabir showed me that, now you come do this too, find your stuffed animal or even just a little pillow will work. And Kabir went on my belly. And then when I breathe really deep, Kabir raises up. And then when I let it all go with a deep exhale, Kabir relaxes a little more. So let's do this together. Ah, you can just feel your body. You don't even need to look at the screen. You can lay down. When you breathe really deep, 
it also helps my brain to be relaxed. And then I can think about my grandkids, know that they feel my love, even if we can't be together. And my friends can feel my love when I let go of all my sadness or anger or anxiousness. Let's just take a few breaths, feeling our body and how safe we feel, feeling the support beneath us, and knowing that we could find our little secret garden inside and come to balance whenever we need to. And now I'm going to come up and sit, and I feel like I'm back in my green zone because I found that place in my heart that's filled with so much love for everyone and it helped my sadness just disappear for now. So here you go. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, all right. Wow, that worked for us to get into the green zone too. I think, you know, sometimes it really helps to be in the green zone, to be able to hear with the ears of other people, to see with the eyes of other people, to feel with their hearts. If I'm in the red zone, then, then I can't really feel anything but the red zone, you know? And if I'm in the blue zone, I can't feel anything but the blue zone. But when I'm in the green zone, like with my Portland Timbers shirt, go Timbers, uh, we can, you know, start to feel what other people are feeling, feel with the heart of another. Right now, We've got the funny part of the show, Vita and her jokes. Vita, you got some jokes for us? Yeah. All right, your superpower is humor. So let's, uh, let's give them the first joke. What's the first joke? What did the student say to, wait. <laughs> let's start that over. Okay, we got Vita, she's gonna do some jokes. What's the first one? The first one is, what did the lion say to the other animals on the savannah? What did the lion say to the other animals on the savannah? Nice to eat you. <laughs> oh, no. All right, what else? What's the second one? Why did the student eat his homework? Well, I don't know. Why did the student eat his homework? Because his teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> his teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> I think they got that wrong. It was an idiom. And what about the third one? The third one is, why did Matthew look so sad? Why did the math book look so sad? Because he had so many problems. <laughs> uh, I love that part of the show with the humor. Um, I, when, when you make me laugh, like it just, I don't know, it just, it just fills my heart with joy. I love it. You're so funny. Um, and for the last act today, we're gonna get to feel through the heart of some more plants. It is Teacher Ariel. Uh, Teacher Ariel, where are, oh, Sorry, she needs the ball. Throw her the ball. <laughs> uh, and a nice job. A lot of us are in Portland, Oregon. Teacher Courtney's in Florida. Uh, Teacher Ariel, where are you? Well, welcome back, superheroes. Um, I'm here in my indoor garden in New Jersey, all the way on the other side of America from Portland. But I'm so happy to be with you all today. Um, hopefully, you had some fun last time using your plant superpower to help you with your feelings. Raise your hand, anybody, if you found a green zone plant, a plant that makes you think or feel calm or positive. Oh, nice job out there. I see you. Way to go. And how are you feeling today, superheroes? I'm feeling pretty good. Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling good, too, or a thumbs down if it's been a tough day. Or maybe to the side if you're not sure or you're somewhere in the middle. Let me see. All right. Okay, so remember, you can use your plant superpowers to help you understand feelings. We can also use another one of our superpowers, empathy. Okay, and that can help us understand feelings. Ours, but also that of other living creatures. And one way we practice our empathy is by looking and listening really closely. That's where our plant powers come in handy. So I want you to remember that empathy means really observing, 
So looking and listening really closely. Okay, so to help us practice, I wanted to introduce you to this plant called a Zanzibar gem, sometimes called a ZZ plant. And ZZ, she's pretty hardy. That means she doesn't really need a lot of human help to feel healthy and good. But if we look and listen a little closer, you can see it's not that simple. So superheroes, I want you to look really closely at ZZ. What do you notice about her? Is she all one color? What do her leaves look like? Hmm, yeah, I see some yellow leaves too. Look at that. This one's yellow and all these other ones are green. Uh-oh, there's another yellow one. Hmm, but I also see this. Do you know what this is? This is a new shoot. And I know that when plants grow a new shoot, that's like growing a whole new part of themselves. So they must be pretty healthy. Yes, that's great. If I was seeing through ZZ's eyes right now, I think I'd be really excited and happy that I'm growing. But then there are those problems. Got these yellow leaves, some really dry ones. Hmm, I wonder if my plant needs some water. I know that when I need water, I feel kind of dried out. I don't look as happy and healthy as usual. I don't feel so good. I feel kind of dried out like this soil. Yeah, she's definitely dry. And if I was feeling with ZZ's body, even though I'm excited about my new shoot, I might be feeling frustrated or worried that I don't have enough of what I need. So I'm gonna to try to practice my empathy by watering ZZ a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. I can hear it right away, superheroes. She's drinking the water right up. Let's listen. Wow, that's great. So now we're gonna keep a close eye and hope she feels better soon, okay? So remember, superheroes, next time you're trying to understand or figure out your feelings or some other living creature's feelings, remember that you can use empathy. You can cultivate or grow empathy by looking and listening really closely. Good luck, I'll see you next time. Ready to catch Seth? We Here are. You go. And oh, ah, all right, awesome. I love that the plant has complicated feelings just like people do, right? There's a lot going on with them. So today we practice our super glue, super power of empathy, but we also talked about all our other superpowers, right? We had dance, we had music, we had our superpower sidekicks, we have gymnastics and mindfulness, we had science and noticing things and plants, all, oh, and jokes, of course, all of those are amazing superpowers. Something that you guys could try at home, you know, we have this chart and we use it now every day to talk about our feelings. Maybe you can make a chart at home too. And maybe next week you could show it to us doing, during our community section. And right now I wanna thank everybody for coming. Thank you so much for coming. We're gonna go on to our community section now. If people want to come on screen and share their superpower, or if they wanna share their super glue superpower, they could let us know how other people in their family are feeling right now. So if you wanna come on screen and you don't have to, you can raise your digital hand. So parents, this means that you're raising the digital hand that is on the, um, uh, the Zoom app here. And we are gonna promote people up into this room and we are going to say hi and learn about what their superpowers are or what their super glue power is of knowing what other people are feeling. Okay, you guys ready? Let's do it. 